The Indian Air Force has asked French firm Dassault Aviation to integrate indigenous weapons like Astra Mark I, Mark II and Smart Anti-Airfield Weapon on the Rafale Combat Aircraft, as well as indigenous long-range glide bombs that are currently being developed by private sector firms. Industry sources have said that there could be a big market for Indian weapons once they are integrated into the Rafale aircraft as the aircraft is used by many other countries including France, Egypt, Qatar and Greece, and many countries will soon receive the aircraft. The DRDO has proposed the SWIFT UCAF as a standalone program for the Indian Army and Indian Air Force. The one-ton SWIFT currently utilizes the Russian Saturn engine which powers the nearby subsonic cruise missile, however, the DRDO has offered to replace this engine with the Manic small turbofan engine for the production variant of SWIFT. The SWIFT is equipped with two hardpoints for precision guided munitions. The SWIFT's compact size and stealth characteristics makes it an ideal platform for penetrating highly defended areas, ensuring successful strikes against key targets. The Aeronautical Development Agency is exploring the development of a trainer variant of the Tejas Mark II, and this move to consider a trainer variant stems from the intention to make the Tejas Mark II more appealing in the international export market. There is a possibility that one of the four prototypes of the Tejas Mark II program could be adapted into a trainer variant, as the aircraft has received interest from several countries to replace their MiG-29 F-16 and Mirage 2000 fighter jets and export customers might prefer a twin-seater Tejas Mark II trainer, rather than opting for a different lead-in fighter trainer platform. In a major breakthrough in the development of its indigenous midget submarine, Mazagin Dock Ship Builders has successfully pressure-tested the prototype hull of the midget submarine at its land-based submarine testing facility. The upcoming MSX-02A midget submarine will represent a fully equipped stealth-based platform with minimal acoustic and electromagnetic signatures, that will carry a pilot co-pilot and combat swimmer team along with their essential equipment. French firm Naval Group has made an interesting offer to India, to equip the six Calvary-class submarines with the state-of-the-art F-21 heavyweight torpedo, and also set up a local assembly line for the F-21 torpedo in India, provided India procures them in substantial quantities. The F-21 has a range of over 50 kilometers, and its homing system incorporates advanced target tracking algorithms that has already demonstrated its effectiveness aboard the Brazilian Navy's Scorpion-class submarines, which can operate effectively in both deep waters and near coastal areas. Airbus has announced that it has responded to the Indian Air Force's request for information for a medium transport aircraft, and has pitched its A400M transport aircraft. The A400 can carry twice the payload and also has twice the range as compared to its competitors, and the aircraft can be built at the same Tartu Airbus C-295 facility. Airbus officials recently visited India to explore potential partnerships for the Indian supply chain, and they inspected Bangalore-based aero structure manufacturer Dynamatic Technologies. Pakistan Navy has inducted two more Chinese manufactured Type 54 frigates, that have a displacement of 3,963 tons and a range of 7,000 kilometers. The Type 54 features 32-cell vertical launch system, HQ-16 medium-range air defense missiles, and 180 kilometers range YJ-83 anti-ship missiles. <laughs> Oh, Mark, watch it.